Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of Bronte Mania. In this video I'm going to explore a poem by Emily Bronte entitled God of Visions, which is actually one of my favourite Emily poems. But if, before I get into that, I'd like to show you a t-shirt I recently acquired for myself, which is um, an Emily t-shirt which depicts her and it's four images, they're actually the same image, but it's all in different colours. It's really a really nice design, I think. So I'd like to show you that now. And also, I would like to ask you if you could subscribe to my channel if you like the content I'm putting out. And remember to click the bell for all notifications for so you'll be informed of every time a new video comes out on the channel. And also give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see. So here we go. This is going to be, I'm going to read out now the um, God of Visions poem by Emily. Um, and it goes like this. Oh, thy bright eyes must answer now. When reason with a scornful brow is mocking at my overthrow. O oh, thy sweet tongue must plead for me and tell why I have chosen thee. Stern reason is to judgment come, arrayed in all her forms of gloom. Wilt thou my advocate be dumb? No radiant angel, speak and say why I did cast the world away. Why I have persevered to shun the common path that others run. And on a strange road journeyed on, heedless alike of wealth and power, of glory's wreath and pleasure's flower. These once indeed seemed beings divine, and they perchance heard vows of mine, and saw my offerings on their shrine. But careless gifts are seldom prized, and mine were worthily despised. So with a ready heart I swore to seek their altar stone no more, and gave my spirit to adore. The ever-present phantom thing, my slave, my comrade, and my king. A slave because I rule thee still, incline thee to my changeful will, and make thy influence good or ill, a comrade, for by day and night thou art my intimate delight. My darling pain that wins and sears and wrings a blessing out from tears, by deadening me to earthly cares. And yet a king, though prudence well have taught thy subject to rebel, and am I wrong to worship where faith cannot doubt nor hope despair, since my own soul can grant my prayer? Speak, God of visions, plead for me, and tell why I have chosen thee. Yes, um, Emily was known throughout her family circle as a visionary. The God of visions is really her exploring her imagination and this was not always a pleasurable experience for her. It could be at times, but not at others. Um, she had to um, explore all different um, territory um, within her imagination. Um, and like all writers, I suppose, she had to take the good with the bad. Um, the phrase there, talking about darling pain, really sums up, I think, because it's like... Um, the beautiful side of things and the dark side of things mixed all as one together. She talks throughout the poem of um, this God of Visions providing providing hope to her. Um, certainly very much how she always wanted that sense of freedom. Why she loved to be roaming around in the moors. Um, she loved that the inner self to explore that sort of territory to um, gain an insight into um, her imagination. Um, and she wasn't concerned with um, daily cares, things that occupied other people's minds, such as um, money and um, power, didn't have any appeal to her. She only wanted to um, reside within her imagination and to... Um, explore her inner self that's what made her such a special person and why she was so revered within her family um, she was truly one of a kind and um, yeah she's a very special person um, 
So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed what I've put out today and I look forward to um, uploading another video very soon for this channel. Thanks very much. Bye for now.